square looking friends and thank you for joining me for another post this video so today i'm working on my creative team project for scrapper sketch and it is sketch number 78 and i'm creating a 12 by 12 layout so today i'm documenting these two flowers in my garden which look quite stunning don't they and um they're two three by four photos that i've mounted onto white textured cardstock and i've rust roughed up the edges with my distress tool and um, i've also done a little bit of mixed media here using my uh, texture paste and the tim holtz layering stencil which I, I couldn't see a name on there but i mean i would call that hessian but i don't know whether it is or not that's what i would call it if i was searching for it and then i've got this vicky booting sweet rush pattern paper which is sweet talk and then um a tag for my stash here that I've set an eyelet into and I've added some uh, baker's twine and then I've got these Beagle Mom Scrap Sequins which is the Deep Rose C set. I've got my Distress Ink Pad in Pickled Raspberry and then i um, got some washi tapes here and then I've got some gems, Glitter Domes, Bramble Fox piece, more baker's twine and then I've created these little um, embellishments from a wood floral paper floral and then a little gem the same here and these uh, wood florals and paper florals are you know in that little tub of mine that is my lifetime supply and I have been using a few of those lately so what I've done with the washi tape I'll just show you there I just did a little um I, I just kind of like put them together and um, just to see how they might go and I think that's probably what I'm going to do on the layout so it is a um two like I say three by four photos on the sketch that kind of sit here and then you've got like in this area it looks as though it's like a it's like a grid but it could be like um stitching or mixed media or pattern paper it looks as though it's not pattern paper on the sketch but I'm using the pattern paper and I'm outlining all along the edges with you know a little bit of mixed media there so I think that is quite true to the sketch and then this set you've got the title here and then this section here has got looks as it's got layered pattern papers and I'm going to use washi tape there is a tag here and some little embellishments here which are hearts but I'm going to use florals so what we'll do is we'll get this page get this one down first the main sort of the uh, central element over that mixed media and when I did the um, mixed media I, I, the, the actual stencil does not stretch 12 inches so I, had, I just kind of had to keep replacing it but that was fine I wasn't trying to get it you know to um, be exactly you know I didn't need it to be um, in a set design or anything Sorry, I was concentrating on this and trying to do that at the same time. Trying to talk to you at the same time, which is not easy. There's a little bit of an edge showing there, but I can always trim that off later. We'll just not worry about it. I've got some alphas here, which I've put upside down because I took them out the other day and I didn't want them to stick to the craft mat. They are Thickers, American Crafts, Modern Art. And I've chosen the colours that fit best with this. Ideally, I would have had all kind of like matching colours to this pattern paper, but I had to use the letters that that were available to me so um, yeah the mixture i've mounted this one on foam i think i'll probably pop that one here raised up and then have the tag coming out which is like on the sketch and um, we'll see how that looks now then i've got to think about a few things here because i've got the washi tape to put on i've got the um twine which I'm thinking of laying across here so I need to be able to do that as well and I thought I'd use my embellies here similar to the sketch just um you know scattered here maybe and I've got those sequins if I want to add anything else to it but I have to think about placement put another floor there in the back. I think that's um the design that I'm going to go for but what I do need to do is probably add that washi tape um, now on the sketch it doesn't go all the way across the page I normally add um, 
tape underneath washi tape. I'm normally had adhesive tape underneath washi tape, but um, I think I'll probably just staple it because there'll be other things going above and below it, uh, over it. This washi tape is very hard to get in a straight line, so we won't even try with that. Looks a bit bent, doesn't it? There. Okay, oh, sorry about that. And then a little bit here as well. So originally, when I was coming up the idea, with the idea for this layout, I was thinking of um, um, using the whole sheet of this pattern paper, which I really wanted to do. But actually, when I saw the sketch, I thought oh, it would be perfect. Um, so I just use half and save the other half for something else. I don't really use florals a lot, as you probably know if you watch me. But when you're doing a layout about florals, obviously you can use florals then. <laughs> Some people use florals for everything, but yeah, not me. Right, so that, that looks fine. Not going to stay in place, I'm pretty sure. So I'll have to sort that out later, maybe a little bit wet go or something. I know I said I probably wouldn't bother, but we'll see what it looks like once the photos are down and everything. I need to make sure I've got the photos how as I took them, which is that way. I did take a little video of the photos, so um, um, I took a little video of the flowers. I might add that at the end, like I do, you know, when I do a donkey page. Now the other thing I've got to do is fit this long title on, <laughs> and uh, that is going to be a struggle. Unless I kind of layer it a little bit like this, sort of like a little bit staggered. Yeah, I think I'm going to have to because it's very long, isn't it? Because hmm. I need, to... oh, I mean, I could overlap, I could overlap it onto the photos because this one's going to be flat to the page. But yeah, we're struggling there, aren't we? To... Warm here today. I don't know if it's the same where you are, but oh, yeah, very warm here today. I think after this, I'm going to relax a little bit. Does that fit? Mm, I think that's fine. I can still get the photos on. Uh, do we want the photos covering the washi there? Can't really see them. See the washi, can you? On that side, I mean. I would like to just see a tiny bit of it, if possible. I could overlap that actually. Yeah, we'll get this one down first. And then uh, see where we want this to go. Do we want it to sit on the washi or yeah, I think I think on the sketch it does sit on the washi a little bit, so we can do that. There. And then maybe at that here, I could remove a little bit of this, couldn't I? Remove a little bit of the foam so I can push it over a bit more. If it's not too stuck down, I don't think it is there. My scissors won't be very pleased with me, but I have to do what we have to do. Oh, that's a bit better. So, I think that's going to have to go there like that. Yeah. I'm sure that'll be fine. Didn't prep my glue. Normally, I try and remember to turn it upside down in my little mug over there before I start my video but obviously today I didn't remember to do that. Now then we've also got this tag that we want to add on haven't we so um, how do we want that to work? Probably should put some adhesive on that as well. Got a little bit of wiggle room because um, I'm using white glue so we have got a little bit of wiggle room Maybe have this camera on there. Let's do a 
little bit of washi tape over there. Not a lot, but I think that's as good as it's going to get for showing the washi. There's, you can see a tiny little bit of it there and underneath, so I think that's okay. And then what I might do here is place a little foam pad underneath the tag there just to raise that a little bit of extra interest texture which I do like on my layout there okay and we've got this little bit here where there's a tiny bit of, gap, of a gap in the texture um the mix mix media um which it which I'm okay with because there's gaps but I thought you know it might be nice to just try and cover that bit there just if it if it fits in with the design now then we'll get a little bit of glue on here get that down try not to lose the lid to my glue again like I did before pop that there the reason I'm using that is just the color really I quite like the color with the uh, other colors on the layout pop this one down so I've been creating my own uh, embellishments lately which I like to do especially with the wood pieces now then how do we want this to go nestle that one into that little gap there couldn't I just there like that tested out ink in the hole of the flower before I started but I didn't like that I, I wanted to leave them bare and add the uh, little gems and things to them right I think as I've done that it looks fine add a little bit of glue onto my uh, Line there which I like to do just a tiny bit because it's not it's a matte finished textured card stock and although this finish although this dries clear you know you can probably see it to, you know you'll be able to see it now then I've got to do this and I probably should have done that first but I didn't or maybe I've still got time to do that mm, no I don't think I have not time well time until the glue dries that's what I meant what I might have to do is do this bit on this side up to that point because yeah I got carried away with my embellishing up to that point and then um, trim that there if that looks okay there I think it does I could move that over a little bit couldn't I and then maybe do the same on this side the only thing is there won't be any in that little gap there but I think that'd be okay I probably could at this point lift the things but yeah I'm not going to do that now could move that floral over slightly because that little bit of mixed media could kind of cover that up so it doesn't look so this it might you know trick the eye into thinking that that there is uh, baker's twine when it's not <laughs> right then we'll go across here yeah try and do it in a straight line but obviously not that's not happening <laughs> oh gosh it is warm like i said that glue is completely not in the right place but as long as it's glued down in most places it will stay in place that's what I'm gonna say anyway <laughs> and if it doesn't I can glue it later right yeah I think that is what I was thinking when I was coming up with the idea to lay that across that line there the edge of the pattern paper I think I have achieved that that one doesn't look great it looks like it's um, coming on down slightly but I can add a little more bit more adhesive to that later and uh, make sure it sticks and I'll cut the ends of the uh, thread off later as well so title I think we're gonna have to add a little bit more glue to this as well probably not that much right I'm gonna lay that right on the edge of the paper so that I can fit you know the rest of it in 
can't remember which way around these went. Obviously the T's obvious. Obviously the T's obvious. <laughs> I mean, it's obvious which way the T goes because it's got to be upright. But uh, these one and the U, yeah, because these are definitely U's and these are N's. So um, the U's the right way. The ends are well, I think they are the right way. As long as they're quite close together, I think that's all that matters for the spacing. I don't think it looks too odd that they're right next to each other, especially with the outlining, the uh, black outlining of each letter. They do stand out. I think you can easily read the word, that's what I mean. I'm not sure what these flowers are. Some of you might know. I, I, I'm not um I'm not, you know, green fingered. <laughs> My husband's the gardener in the house. I I did ask him, but I don't think he was a hundred percent sure either. So if anybody knows, you can let me know. If not, they're just really nice flowers from the garden that stand out, like that. the title says, stunning. Right, I think, does that look okay? Does that look a bit strange with that T? Does it look as I've really tried to do that? Probably does. Maybe if I move the others a little bit, it's not so noticeable. Yeah, I think so. Trouble is, when you touch them, they do move. Right, I think I'm going to go with that and be okay with it. Yeah, because, you know, also the flowers were kind of like moving in the wind, you know. So, you know, <laughs> that's my way of thinking anyway. They're kind of like, you know, flowing in the wind. Oh, gosh, I need to stop touching them, though. Right, washi tape down. Do I want to staple it? I'm not sure I do now. don't know if I want that effect. I think I'm just going to leave that and use some adhesive if it comes up. Um, so I think I've done the, ste the sketch quite well with the layered pieces here and the title here um, and the two photos in place and everything. And then the embellishment areas are the same. I think you can definitely, well, you can definitely tell that it came from that um, sketch. Now I'm wondering whether to outline this here. I was thinking pink, but actually... Black might be a nice contrast because of the black hard stock. It'll make it stand out more, which is nice. There. Okay. I did think about doing some outlining on the the main um, pattern textured cardstock as well, but uh, I don't I don't think I need to do that. I think I want the focus to be here. Um on the centre and I don't think we need to draw the eye away from that. Now then, I've got these yellow gems here plus these pink ones which I've got in from my stash but I'm actually looking at it now and thinking I don't actually think it needs anything else. The only thing I could do is maybe pop a couple of these on the floor, some of the florals. One or two of the florals maybe. Even though I really like the, I like the design um, of the, you know, the pattern paper design. Maybe just on a couple of these very small florals, just for added texture. Maybe two there, maybe and one there. Could add another one, but I think I like that. I'm just going to leave it as it is. Right, so sketch number 78 over at Scrapper Sketch. Lisa's got a website now. You can get sketches, a premium package of sketches and printables and all kinds of things going on over there and there's the Facebook group as well which is really good you get a every Friday we get a new sketch and this is sketch number 78 um, and they're for every they're, they're you know they're free you don't have to pay for those they're just um, released every week um, and if you wanted extra that's what the, the premium uh, service is for I didn't use these did I no never mind I don't think I need to use them now quite like this just as it is as like a underlining for the title um so yeah i'm not gonna i'm not going to add anything else to it i don't i'm going to add a date though i will add a date we can add the date because this pink will not show on the black background i don't think but it might show here not really 
Um, um, yeah, can't decide on that. Here, maybe? I think, oh, no, it doesn't show up either. Maybe I'll just write it on the back. Mm, I do like to have a date on, though. I'll think about that and I'll have the date after. So, yeah, number 78. Have a go if you want to. Go and see what everyone else is doing. And there'll be an album in the Facebook group for that. And, um, yeah, once again, thank you for joining me. Oh, I just thought I can do the date on there. I'll do the date on there. Thank you for joining me. Stay safe, take care, and I shall see you next time.